Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at the Magic Kingdom and we are going to be celebrating the New Year a day early because tonight at the Magic Kingdom they're going to be shooting off their New Year's Eve fireworks Fantasy in the Sky a day early for December 30th and then they're going to do it again December 31st since I want to go to Epcot for New Year's Eve I decided to come out tonight and celebrate New Year's Eve two nights in a row and we have a special viewing area that is absolutely breathtaking and I cannot wait to show you any who's let's go do this if you're not familiar with the Magic Kingdom fireworks on New Year's Eve, they do a 360 fireworks show where they shoot off fireworks from all around the Magic Kingdom resort loop from all the different resorts all over the place. It's a full 360 experience and there is no better place to watch the fireworks than at the top of the contemporary at the California Grill. This is one of the most amazing things you can see at Walt Disney World. When you guys see it later on and they're gonna be, the fireworks are gonna be shooting up like everywhere. It is gonna blow your mind. And it is so amazing that it costs $700 a person. $700 a person. Now, that is for tomorrow. That's for New Year's Eve. Tonight, we don't have to pay $700. We just have to actually dine at the California Grill, which was a very hard to get reservation. But tomorrow, they have a special event that costs $700 a person. I'm gonna try to get you a little bit more information about the $700 person event for tomorrow night, but tonight we're just kind of lucky, you know what I mean? I mean, it is such a remarkable view from up there and them charging $700, but it's pretty exclusive. That's the only way you're gonna be able to watch it on New Year's Eve. They're gonna have like a separate room and a private balcony. It's pretty amazing. Magic Kingdom during the New Year's Eve fireworks is such a crowded place. Like you are literally shoulder to shoulder going all the way down Main Street from the castle to the train station and people are waiting for hours. So, so I'm so lucky that we're going to be able to just come here and kind of enjoy the fireworks with probably a better view because if you're watching them from inside Magic Kingdom, you're not seeing 360. You're just seeing what's in front of the castle. But here you get to see everything. And I'm just like I said, I'm very like happy and lucky that I'm able to show you guys because our reservation is until much later on and the fireworks aren't until 11 45 tonight we're gonna actually go hop into the magic kingdom just so we can see what it's like the day before new year's eve maybe ride some rides or just kind of hang out on main street like I said before, I'm going to be going to Epcot tomorrow night for New Year's Eve. So I'm so happy that they actually have the fireworks two nights in a row here at the Magic Kingdom. So I can celebrate New Year's Eve, both parks, and be able to experience both of the fireworks shows. Because Epcot's fireworks show for New Year's Eve is absolutely amazing too. Just as good as this one. And now we have finally made it over to the Magic Kingdom. And it looks like they're preparing for heavy crowds, especially after the fireworks end. They're going to be doing both fireworks shows. So they're going to do an Enchantment and the New Year's Eve fireworks at uh, 1145. And they've got the uh, guardrails up. They got the fences up. I love this time of the day here at the Magic Kingdom when it's just starting to become sunset and all the lights are turning on. It is so beautiful. Look at this, isn't it just so amazing? It's not quite a sunset, but the lights are still on and it's just amazing. And actually, I think most of the lights are always on. It's just you can't see them during the day. I'm not too sure about that. Let me know in the comments if you guys know. Do they leave the lights on or do they actually just turn them on when it gets dark out? Before, when I was talking about the fireworks being a 360 show, uh, I kind of want to give you an idea of what that's like from back here at the train station. Tonight, if you are here in the Magic Kingdom or tomorrow night and you're watching the fireworks, they uh, will be shooting off not just like right in front of Cinderella Castle here. They're going to be shooting off all along here and then also on the other side. So that's why being up at the California Grill, we're going to be able to see all of these fireworks instead of just being able to see half of it because they're actually going to be shooting off behind us too. You can see people already lined up and holding down a spot for the fireworks and they're not for another eight hours or seven hours. So that is dedication to be waiting in one spot for seven hours. You'll see plenty of people just set up with their tripods all the way up Main Street. Some people like to be back by the tree. Some people like to be in the middle of Main Street. It all, I guess, depends on preferences. 
seeing the crowds here on Main Street USA already. And like I said, the fireworks are a long time away. I'm kind of happy that I'm going to be at the Contemporary. The cases are rising here in Florida. And I also have very sad news. My mom and sister decided to cancel their trip coming down this week because of the rise in cases. So, you know, it kind of made me really sad. But I'm happy that I'm going to be over in the Contemporary, not in the middle of, like, Main Street USA surrounded by people. And I'm real sad that they're not coming. But it's best to be safe. It's better to be safe, you know? Once things actually get a little bit more under control, I think my mom and sister are gonna try to come back down. But right being around the holidays, the cases are so high, I think it's just best they just stay back home and wait until it cools down a little bit. You know what I mean? Since I don't have much of an interest to actually wait around to watch Enchantment because we're going to be seeing like the very big firework display tonight at midnight I think we're going to just go hang out around the Magic Kingdom and then head over to California Grill Because we're actually going to be eating dinner there too So we're going to go into the 50th anniversary uh, menu Which I'm excited because I've only had this once and that was for Thanksgiving So now I'm going to be able to see like the regular 50th anniversary menu I'm hoping that since a lot of people are waiting for enchantment right now, maybe the wait times won't be so bad and we might be able to squeeze in a ride or two. I'm going to head over to Fantasyland. I'd love to ride Peter Pan. That's one of the rides I've been wanting to ride for a while, but it's always long. It's always a long wait. Holy moly, I was kind of right. It's a walk-on for It's a Small World, and it doesn't look like there's many people in line for Peter Pan because, oh yeah, look, the line ends right there. Wow. That is awesome! The line ends right there, so there's nobody in the queue behind them. We're gonna go ride Peter Pan! The posted wait time is 15 minutes, so we're really lucking out here! I love the queue in here. It is so amazing and interactive. You see uh, Tinkerbell just turn that globe right there. I watched her do it. And we can ring the bells here. Let's see. Hey! They took the bells away! <laughs> Well, there's Tink right there. Well, I guess it's still a good thing to come ride rides during the fireworks, but I'm sure you probably can't hear me. The fireworks are so loud over here by Peter Pan. I think they're shooting them off uh, behind uh, It's a Small World. I kind of wish we were just flying in our pirate ship up to the fireworks right now, because that would be amazing. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Here we go. really awesome to be able to ride Peter Pan with almost no wait like we got on there within 10 minutes now we're just gonna kind of just hang around and like I said we're just waiting up time until it's time to go for our reservation holy moly look at how crowded it is back here looks like we have a little bit of a dance party before the fireworks are happening look at this I can't wait to go down and check this out look at this Oh wow, I'm happy we're making our way down to the hub. This is where like the party's at. I can hear we got a DJ. They got some nice lighting. A lot of spotlights too. Oh, this is so cool. Really nifty. Let's come together no matter where we are from. We celebrate a brand new year. So everybody here at Magic Kingdom, if you guys are ready to have some fun tonight, on the count of three, let's hear you scream. Here we go. The crowds are definitely in play here, and these DJs have a long time to go, so they're going to keep everybody entertained for the next, like, five hours.
Look at that party happening. Oh wow, on top of the DJ, they're actually letting it snoop on Main Street too. So we've got Snope on Main Street for New Year's Eve and also Baby Shark. <laughs> what a combination. I think we're gonna jump into Starbucks and get ourselves a coffee. I'm really loving the atmosphere here. The DJ's got everyone like really wild up, ready for the new year. Wow. We, I don't know what's going on today. I thought I'd be like seeing long lines everywhere, but there's no line for Starbucks and that is like a miracle on its own. I normally don't get like hot coffees, but the temperature is actually really nice out tonight. Maybe it's in the 70s, I'll have to check, but it feels really comfortable here for New Year's Eve, or pre-New Year's Eve. Cotton Eye Joe on Main Street, USA. <laughs> wow. Now that we got our coffee, I think it's time we start heading back over to the California Grill, get ready for our dinner reservation. I am a little bit hungry, so it's gonna be fun to eat food, and then uh, fireworks. It's gonna be so amazing. I always like walking from the Magic Kingdom over to the Contemporary. It's so beautiful seeing it all lit up like that. And it's a quick walk too, just a couple of minutes. And I hear tell that they're actually opening the Top of the World Lounge just for tonight and tomorrow. I don't know if we can find out for sure, but I'll definitely take a peek see once we actually get inside the contemporary or up to the California Grill I do want to find out more information about that $700 New Year's Eve party that they're having tomorrow night like what is all included with it obviously I'm not going to be doing it but maybe for next year you know you never know I mean it seems like it might be something very very fancy and I'm kind of intrigued I have done a special event up here before I did it for the last night of wishes but it wasn't $700 I think it was $300 so $700 is quite the price jump before we get checked in, I want to go see if uh, there are any people waiting for firework viewing spots like on the side of the Contemporary. On certain levels you can actually look out and watch the fireworks, but you don't get the music pumped in like you would up a California Grill. No matter what time you eat at the California Grill, as long as you keep your receipt, they'll let you actually come back up to watch the fireworks, either for enchantment or these New Year's Eve fireworks. And I think that's kind of cool because it was one of the things that I love to do, and it's a way that you can watch the fireworks without all the crowds. Now, in theory, right here is a great spot to come watch the fireworks if you wanted to. They have nice benches over there, but it looks like they're pretty much all full. Looks like there's a big crowd there, and you get a good, like, shot of the castle. Or you can climb the steps and actually hang out on one of these balconies here. Now, this side, though, you're not looking out at Cinderella Castle because that is blocking it. So you want to go on this side where you're kind of facing and... All you have to do is climb up the steps. Now, they are getting stricter with this, so I'm not sure if maybe around like 10 or 11 o'clock, they might have like a security officer here not allowing people up there. They have done that in the past, so you never know. You just have to be careful. So that's why tonight I wanted to make sure I was going to be able to have a good viewing spot. So we have the reservation at California Grill, and they pumped the music out like right there so you're gonna be able to hear the countdown and everything like that and they do it on this level which is like the main level but all those other floors like the balconies they don't pump in the music there so you won't be able to hear it. you'll hear it like a faint like a little bit from the different speakers but not as good as you would want to hear it now we're all checked in and we're just waiting for our text to let us know our table's ready and I talked to some of the cast members and they told me that there's going to be somebody down here at 11.30 so the restaurant is actually open until 10 o'clock well the kitchen's open until 10 o'clock but they're going to have the restaurant open all the way until the fireworks but the last table is going up uh, the last order is going in at 10 o'clock and they're going to have somebody down here at 11.30 so anybody who's had dinner here throughout the night can bring their receipt and they'll escort them up there they do have like a special dress code here, so I'm gonna be taking off my hat. And I have my most expensive button-up shirt right here. This is the 50th anniversary like annual pass holder button-up shirt. This was $120, so expensive, and it's still for sale right now. But I just wanted to be a little, little fancy and still be celebrating the 50th, you know? Now we are up 
up inside the California Grill and they gave me one of the best tables in the house. Wait till I show you where I'm sitting. It is so amazing. Right here is our table and look at that view. Oh, the castle. We can see the party happening in my bald head. Last time that we ate here, we were here for Thanksgiving dinner and it was the same kind of menu except for they had all different Thanksgiving like menu offerings. But now it's time to try the 50th anniversary dining experience and this is my first time trying that actual menu. So it's a three course meal for $89. So there's no a la carte. Uh, you pay the $89 and you get an appetizer, an entree and a dessert. And it's kind of like based off of like the 50th anniversary which is really fun and fascinating. If you guys have ever seen me eat here before, you know that I love the braised beef short rib wontons. They are my favorite appetizer basically anywhere. So I'm definitely going to pick that as my appetizer. And then they have some good offerings for the chef's journey. They have the oak fired filet of beef. They've got a Florida coast black grouper. They've got a cast iron grilled pork tenderloin, a handcrafted squash and mushroom ravioli, and then they have a 35 ounce uh, tomahawk steak for two, which is an additional $80 upcharge. Now, it's just me tonight, so I'm not gonna get the 35 ounce beef rib tomahawk, but I would love to come back and try it. And then you pick a dessert, and they have a bunch of great desserts, including the five magical bites for 50 years in the making, which sounds so amazing. But I think I'm going to get the iridescent Grand Marnay creme brulee, because I think it just sounds so fancy. Iridescent Grand Marnay creme brulee, da 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 da. For my entree, I did decide to go with the oak fired uh, filet of beef because I do love that steak. It is really good. If they had the cowboy ribeye on this menu, I would have totally gotten that because that was one of my favorite steaks. I think it's on my number four of my favorite steaks in Walt Disney World. Four or five. I'm not too sure. I have to look back. I still can't get over how amazing our table is. Like we are right next to the window and it is so awesome. Like if I wanted to, I could probably just sit here and watch the fireworks, but going out on the balconies is so much better. And I'll show you what they look like in a second. Wow, I have to say California Grill's on fire tonight. I just sat down and ordered my food and they already brought out my wontons and then the bread. And I love this bread. This focaccia bread is amazing. And I'm so excited to dive into the wontons. These are so, so good, but they do have a little spice to them. Like not too spicy, just a little bit. But like I said before, one of my all time favorite uh, appetizers anywhere. We're gonna dive right on in here and look at those bad boys. <laughs> I kind of feel bad, I don't wanna cut them. They are like kind of small enough that you could like try to bite one in one bite, but I just love it. Look at all of that short rib in there. It is so amazing and the texture is phenomenal. So here we go. Stays true to my favorite. So, so good. I will get these every time I come up here. Even when I came for Thanksgiving, I wanted to try like all the Thanksgiving offerings. I still got these as a side on top of like my, my regular appetizer because they're so good. I do feel like next time I should try the house-made duck pizza that they have here. I've had their other pizzas before, but that house-made duck pizza is something special for the 50th anniversary. So if I do come back, I'm going to try that next time. But those poor little wontons didn't stand a chance. Now we're going to dive in to some of the bread. Because like I said, I love this focaccia bread too. And I love this little vinaigrette that they serve with it. So, so good and a great combination. Just take a look at that focaccia. So good, so warm, and it just mixes it so great with this vinaigrette. With it. I don't even know if it's a vinaigrette, it's like a tomato like paste. It, it is so good though. I'm also pretty positive that this focaccia bread is a different bread that they're serving with the 50th anniversary menu. The other bread that I had before was the 50th anniversary. I'm not too sure it was the same bread though. I don't know, maybe it was, I just can't remember, but it is still very, very good. And I know this is the same because this is what I always love. This, go this is what makes the bread good. Since we're waiting for our, uh since we're waiting for our main course, I decided to hop outside real quick so I can give you guys a look at what we're gonna be looking at or a, a look at our view for tonight. And I am so excited. They're playing Christmas music right now. 
Look at how beautiful it is out here. And take a look at Magic Kingdom over there. Oh, I cannot wait for the fireworks. They're gonna be shooting off the fireworks here, 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 here. It's gonna be literally 360 and we're gonna have the best advantage point. Now the fireworks aren't for about two and a half hours and it's a little bit windy up here so it might be messing with the audio but uh, we still have our entree to come and our dessert so we're gonna be able to sit down in there and relax and they said that they're gonna keep this open inside so if you're at a table you can actually just stay in there and watch the fireworks but like I said more or less why not come out here because it's a lot nicer and it's cooler it's so nice and breezy and the music is gonna be pumped out through the speakers. And once we got back to our table, look at what has arrived. Doesn't that look so, so good? I'm loving it. And I love the little crushed potatoes that they do here. So it's like baby red potatoes. They smash it and then they fry them. And they also have a cauliflower like uh, puree right here going with the cauliflower as well. And I'm just excited to try the filet. I think I've had the filet here before. You guys know I'm more of a ribeye person, not so much of a filet person, but we'll give it a go. The thing that I don't like about filets, well, I like ribeyes because they have a lot more flavor to them. And the filets are like so small. Like the portion size for any dish or like a filet is so tiny. I mean, it's a better quality meat, but I do like that little fatty, like, I like it. Like ribeyes and tomahawks and New York strips, they all have like that like extra like flavor to them. Now, a lot of people do love filets because they don't like the fat or the gristle, but give me a ribeye over a filet any day. Let's dive right on in here. We're gonna cut it from this side. All right, that's a good cut. All right, I think we've got some, might have a very high expectation here. Let me know if you guys are team filet or team ribeye. Like I said, I'm team ribeye, but some people like different types of meat. So let me know in the comments, team ribeye, team filet. So here goes the filet. Regardless of your preferred cut of meat, this right here is still a phenomenal steak. So, so good. And I haven't even dived into those potatoes yet, but wow, that is a good filet right there. Now, of course, we do have to try it with the one-two punch. Add a little of that potato in there, a little bit of the steak, a little bit of everything in one bite, and this is the way. Holy moly, those potatoes are phenomenal. They only give you three though. I already ate one, but these are so good. Wow, one of the best potatoes I think I've ever had. I love it. I, I'm honestly so amazing. You guys know most of the time, I like to get my steak like Pittsburgh, so I like it a little bit like charred on the outside. This steak comes with a black truffle butter, and it kind of like just adds to that charredness perfectly. And I, I really think this is one of the better fillets I've ever had at Walt Disney World. I went to go show you like the black truffle butter, but I devoured my steak already. Like it happened so quick. So I had this one little steak left, and you can see like a little bit of the char on there, but I am very impressed with this filet, and I have one potato left. One potato, one bite of steak. You ever have a meal that is so good, and this is your last bite, and you just want to savor it? That's how I'm feeling right now. Last bite here. <laughs> last bite. Well, now our entree is done, so I wanted to come back and talk to you guys about that $700 event here at California Grill tomorrow night that's gonna take place over here in the Sonoma room, and you're gonna have this room all to yourself, and they're gonna have like all you care to enjoy, food and drinks, and then you have a private balcony over here that you're gonna be able to watch the fireworks from, and it's right out here, but I haven't even told you the best thing yet. With the $700 uh, private event, you're gonna have all of the characters here to celebrate the new year with. So Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, Pluto, they're all gonna be here and they're gonna be hanging out with you. And you're gonna have your private DJ in here. I mean, it seems like a really cool event. Like, to be honest, if you're not wanting to be in the crowd and you have $700, 
then that's pretty fancy. I mean, that's pretty, pretty amazing. Something I probably won't be able to afford. Maybe, maybe in the future, whoever, like, who knows? I've done the other dessert parties here, like I said, but those were like, you know, 130, and the one I did for the last night of wishes, I think that was $300, but $700? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Do you think it's worth it? I'll put a link where you can actually see all of everything that comes with it so that you guys can browse through, but I don't know. It's a tough one. Earlier we were talking about maybe the fact that the Top of the World Lounge might be open, but it doesn't look like it's open from here. And like, you know, it would have been open by now. So I think that was all just a rumor. Maybe you could go out there and just see the fireworks, but the lounge itself isn't open. I could definitely see that from here. Now we gotta head back to our table because our Grand Marnay creme brulee is coming. I feel like I've had this before because it sounds so familiar. Grand Marnay creme brulee, ba -ba -da 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 -da. And here it is, the Grand Marnay creme brulee. And you know what? I think I've had this before. I must have had this before because it looks so familiar and also it's so catchy the way that like I say it. And I don't know. I'm gonna have to try it though. I'm gonna try it and then I'll remember if I had it or not. It looks so cool though, doesn't it? I really, really do like it. I think what I'm gonna do is try to get a little bit of everything that they got going on here. It is a big uh, variety. So we'll take a little bit of the creme brulee, take a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Let me get a little of this right there. Excellent. A little bit of that. <laughs> and I think that's I think that's all of it. Here we go. <laughs> that is so delicious. I love it. <laughs> I gotta get a little bit of that top there. I gotta add that in there. And I love it. I don't think I've had it before. I think it's just so catchy but I, I think this is so, so good. And I always love trying California Grill's like seasonal creme brulees because they always used to rotate like a seasonal one. But this one is pretty, pretty darn amazing. Now we're all finished with our meal. The creme brulee was amazing. And the fireworks are in an hour. Like we have one hour to go. And I can see like all of the DJ lights down there right now. So it's gonna be a lot of fun tomorrow night. So if you guys actually plan on coming to the Magic Kingdom for New Year's Eve, you're gonna have a lot of fun in there. I mean, I was there earlier, but being able to see the fireworks from up here is really fun for me. But uh, yeah, only an hour to go. But before firework time, I think we should have some coffee time with the good old California Grill press pot. I think you already pressed it down, but this coffee is so, so good. Oh yeah. I love it. Definitely will keep me up all night so I can edit this video and have it out for you guys tomorrow. I forgot that I had a coffee on my way over here from Starbucks, so we're really double doing it tonight. I mean, we're gonna... I'm gonna be up all night and then we're gonna stay up tomorrow night because we're gonna do Epcot. <sighs> now I'm gonna take my coffee out and we're gonna get our spot for the fireworks. Just about 20 minutes to go and you can see we have a lot of people over here. Now this is mostly people that were just dining at California Grill but then you take a look on this side and I was trying to show you before. There's my friend Corey, Corey Meets World and <laughs> Steve. See you? Fancy seeing you here! <laughs> and then take a look down and you can see everybody just holding up post on the balconies there. So it's really interesting. It's a really good spot to see. But I'm just sitting up here. I got my coffee and we're just relaxing. I didn't want to drink uh, tonight because tomorrow is New Year's Eve. So we're going to drink tomorrow night to celebrate the New Year's Eve. And like I said, I want to edit this video tonight so that you guys can watch it tomorrow. So that means I'm going to be up until probably 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning. So all the coffee is definitely needed. It's looking wild over there right now. Holy moly, look at those spotlights. <laughs> All right, the countdown is getting so close, and I think we're just about uh, seven minutes 
seven minutes until the skies are filled with fireworks. And I know that they're definitely doing the perimeter fireworks because they shut down the road actually here in the contemporary. So the road shuts down during the fireworks and you can see like security blocking off the uh, roadway right now. And then once the fireworks are done, it opens back up. But it's a good way to avoid the traffic too because I bet getting out of Magic Kingdom tonight is gonna be so crazy. Do you know what I mean? Here we can actually get out and leave before any from Ma anyone from Magic Kingdom actually makes it to the TTC. So we're very lucky and blessed for that. The nighttime spectacular fireworks show at the Magic Kingdom will begin in just a few minutes. And you may enjoy it right here from the California Grill. Look at all of this smoke. And also, can you hear all the car alarms going off by the bangs? That is insane. Holy moly. <laughs> Look at this over here. Holy moly, you can't see nothing out here. Oh, that was so amazing. Well, that's gonna do it for me. Happy New Year, officially, when you guys watch this video is gonna be New Year's Eve, but wasn't that so amazing? So special, the way that they shoot off those fireworks from the island there, blew my mind. And tomorrow's New Year's Eve, we're gonna be at Epcot, and uh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be bringing in the new year in Disney World. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.